So this is gonna be a strange video in the sense that I am not making this video expecting it to do well. It's more just, I feel like I just wanna talk about the state of Apex and what I feel I myself and other people who play the game probably feel about it right now. And the reason why I'm even talking about it is because I feel like the viewership for the game is just really kind of dying hard this season. And even ignoring viewership, obviously I don't know how well the game is performing on console or people who use EA app or Origin to play the game. But I can see on Steam charts, which if you guys don't know, Steam charts shows you how many people play the game through Steam. Apex is pretty much at its lowest point in like two years in terms of players, even though I would say season 19 was actually a good season overall. Aside from the meta we have in the game right now, which I think is really boring to play, there is probably not many complaints I would have about season 19. So to start off, I started playing Apex back when it came out, which I believe was like February of 2019. I know, I know it's been a long time, that's all I know. And the big appeal of Apex is the gunplay and movement, and I feel like everyone who plays the game would agree that is probably the major appeal. And I would definitely go and put emphasis on the movement, because if you ever leave Apex and try to play a different FPS, everyone would agree that it's hard to play other games now because of how much Apex movement spoils you. And I probably played the game for a full year straight before I started to make YouTube content on the game. And around this time I started making YouTube content, there were still so many things to learn in the game. People were still trying to figure out how to get better. And all the earlier seasons of Apex were absolute bangers in terms of content. Anyone who played back then would tell you that all those early seasons are way better than the current seasons we get now. There was also a lot of room for new content creators to kind of just show up out of nowhere back then as well. Um... I deleted a lot of my early on videos because genuinely they were just pretty horrible. But one day I accidentally picked Watson in pubs and I got a really good game. It was like a 20 bomb 4k I believe. And I uploaded it to my YouTube and that video I think just got like 30k views kind of out of nowhere when I was someone who was completely unknown on YouTube at the time. And honestly, that just really shocked me because I've never really thought it would be possible to go from someone who has... 10 subscribers and 2 views per video to suddenly 30k with a bunch of comments saying oh we like your Watson gameplay and stuff like that so you know I figured I would just keep doing that I actually at the time enjoyed playing Watson and I was a very competitive focused player and at the time Watson was still really good competitively so I figured why not just make content that I feel people will enjoy and I'll just play a bunch of Watson in pubs. The reason why I bring this up is because that goes to show just how much like undiscovered content there was at the time there were still people learning and there were still creators that could just show up out of nowhere if you look at current apex landscape i feel like no one is really just showing up and doing crazy things anymore i don't think we really have any new content creators the big ones we see now are just losing viewership such as fade timmy asu imperial hell all the big names of apex even they are just losing viewers over time and I'm going to go into why I feel like we have this problem now and we didn't back then. The only time I myself have ever watched Apex content was probably around the first year of the game releasing. And then I pretty much never watched Apex content since because I feel like everything is the same in this game. And there's not many content creators who even try to innovate in that aspect. But when I say that, it's not me trying to blame content creators for not being innovative. I feel like Respawn just doesn't change enough about the game for there to be creativity and innovation. When I was super young growing up, I played a lot of Halo 3 and Modern Warfare 2, and both of those games had custom lobbies. And I don't know how old they are, but I imagine it's probably around like 15 years old for those games, probably about now. So I just think it's crazy that we're in 2023, nearing 2024, and we still can't even start our own custom lobbies unless it's at least halfway full. And I think it's wild for a game like Apex Legends where we know the game has made over billions of dollars. To basically limit who can play customs to a very small minority of the game. Like I know Respawn can technically say that customs access is for everyone now, but let's be real, it's not. If you're not a big content creator, or unless you just somehow know like 100 friends IRL and you can somehow get them all on Apex at the same time, customs are still locked behind basically being a big content creator. 
The reason why I went on that rant right there is because I do genuinely feel like viewership does kind of reflect how the game is at the moment. And on the plus side of having good viewership for the game, it brings more players to the game at the same time. Now let's move on to another topic, which this one probably impacts me the most, but I also think it probably impacts other people. And when I say other people, I mean pretty much every casual player of this game the most as well. And this would be the solo queue experience. Now, early on into Apex, I feel like no one really noticed how much of a problem this was until people started to get better at the game. Since Apex has high time to kill, and I would say it's one of the bigger skill gap games that exist on the market right now, if you were better early on into Apex, you would definitely feel it and you would probably be able to consistently 1v3 every fight you got into. But now that the game has been out so long and people have just gotten better overall, I think it's very apparent how bad the system is in terms of being a solo player in Apex. So just speaking of pubs alone, you have a lose-lose scenario. If you solo queue and you're a good player, if you solo queue, chances are you're going to get two people on your team who aren't very good at the game either, and you're going to die to pretty much the first three stack you run into every game. And on the flip side is, if you want a three stack, you're getting crucified by the entire community because you're playing a public match three stacked. So you are basically in a lose-lose scenario no matter what you do now in this aspect. Now, if we look at ranked, which this, this could be a whole nother topic, I feel like the rank system in Apex has pretty much never been good at any point of the game. I have never played or even seen another game where the rank system has to get changed so frequently because nobody can seem to really enjoy it. And on top of that, the hidden MMR basically just completely destroyed ranked because now if you are solo queuer, you actually barely can play the game. If you are someone you would consider to be fairly skilled at the game, it feels like your teammates are always just completely average and you're going to go up against Imperial Hell's 3 stack. You could be in Bronze 2 and they're in Predator, but you're still in the same lobby. So there is no more natural progression to your rank because the whole idea of rank is to feel the lobbies get harder the further up you go, but with the new system now, it doesn't change at all the way it feels. You're basically just getting actively punished for being good at the game. I know it's this is something that's kind of hard to get my thoughts out on, but you know, that was kind of the whole point of this video. I just want to kind of talk and not really care what happens. I don't know, I just feel like the solo queue experience and the way ranked is right now is just like honestly horrendous, and I, I don't know. How they fix it, to be honest, but I feel like at least getting rid of hidden MMR would be a good start. Now, I promise I am not trying to make this video sound like I am just hating on Apex because at its core, I actually love Apex and you'll hear many other people say that, but there is no game that compares to the feeling of Apex. The big problem I just have is I feel like from my perspective as a content creator, everything in the game has pretty much been done. And respawn doesn't add enough to make the game feel new again. If I'm going to upload more Apex content, it's pretty much going to be stuff I've already done, but just in a different format or some slightly different changes. And if it's not something I've done already, it's something that multiple other creators have probably done themselves. So I guess really the main reason why I'm uploading this is because it's probably near the point where I need to start experimenting with my channel. I make a lot of posts saying, would you guys watch content like this or this and then... I really never do it, but I think this time for sure, I want people to start expecting probably different content. And if Respawn ever changes the game drastically in a way where I feel like it would be fun and refreshing and I can make good content on it again, I would 100% keep making Apex content. I just feel like right now, all the content I'm making on Apex feels very soulless and I'm doing it just because I expect it to get the most views. I love the game, but it just feels very bland right now, and I imagine a lot of probably just normal players feel the same way. I could have talked about way more issues I have with the game, but I'm not going to sit here and just bore everybody ranting about the same things I've said in the past probably like 10 different times already. Going forward, I just want everyone to expect that there to potentially be less Apex content and more variety. And I think the finals is probably a game that I want to start uploading some content on because it has good movement. And the big appeal to Apex to me was movement. I still love Apex. I just feel like right now with the current state it's in, it's just very hard to be a content creator because Respawn doesn't add enough to let us be creative. 
everything I can upload will be things you have all seen before already. So yeah, potentially expect some different games. I'll still upload Apex occasionally. I'm not done with Apex, but you know, we will just see where the channel goes from here. Last thing, I do stream on Twitch if you ever want to watch me play Apex or variety type of games. And uh, yeah, that's about all I have. If you made it to another video, shout out to you because the majority of YouTube viewers don't make it to end of videos.